This set of videos is brought to you by the Department of Theoretical Mechanics, Dynamics and Vibration of the Faculty of Engineering of the University of Mons. It presents the installation of EasyDyne, which is a multi-body library for the simulation of problems represented by second-order or first-order differential equations and more particularly multi-body systems. The installation for Windows 7, 8 or 10 is divided in seven quick steps. The first step consists in installing MSYS2, Minimal System 2, providing a Unix-like environment and command line interface for Windows. Let's get started by visiting the MSYS2 webpage, www.msys2.org, and download the MSYS2 x86 underscore 64 executable. Once the download is completed, go to your download folder and run the executable as administrator. When the MSYS2 setup is launched, click on Next. Then, hit the Browse button and access to your local drive. Create a new folder with a right-click and rename the folder MSYS2. Select that folder and exit the sub-window. Then, in the MSYS2 setup, click on Next. Rename the Start menu shortcuts MSYS2 and click on Next to proceed to the installation of MSYS2. Once it is installed, make sure that the box for running MSYS2 now is checked and click on Finish. MSYS2 opens a command prompt in order to install some packages. Proceed to the update of MSYS2 by typing Pacman SYU and then press the Enter key. Proceed to the installation by pressing the O key for we or the Y key for yes. When it stops installing, exit the command prompt. and return to the local disk. Get into the MSYS2 folder and double-click on MSYS2 underscore shell dot cmd. A new command prompt opens up. Type Pacman SU and proceed to the installation of the remaining updates. Pac-Man will be fully committed to Windows by typing Pac-Man as git. Proceed to the installation.
One may install the modular boost Git repository by typing pacman ss boost. Then, proceed to the installation of the GCC compiler by typing pacman smin gww 64x86 64 gcc. Finally, proceed to the installation of the GSL which is the new scientific library offering a large number of mathematical tools by typing pacman smin gww 64x86 64 GSL. And exit the command prompt. To conclude the installation of MSYS2, two environment variables must be added. Right-click on your computer icon on the right and hit Properties. Then, go to the Advanced Parameters Environment Variables. Scroll down to display the path variables and double-click on it. Add at the end of the line. C backslash MSIS 2 backslash USR backslash bin. C backslash MSIS 2 backslash min GW 64 backslash bin. Then, click on the OK buttons to confirm your changes. MSYS2 is now fully installed on your computer. The next video will cover the installation of CodeBlocks which is the chosen C++ IDE integrated development environment for running EasyDyne.